Mary Meet. We are working our way through these. We're on 20. I actually had recorded all of these up to 19. I did like 6 through 19 last night, but I was drunk and that was a bad idea. I went to rewatch it this morning and it was like, oh god. So I had to redo them. So now we're on to actually new ones, so I don't have my answers planned. Um, okay, this is one. I, I remembered that this was coming up. Okay, what do you do when you are in a witchy funk? So I have been in a witchy funk for quite a few years now and I'm finally, finally out of it. And I'm so excited. So when I was in my witchy funk for the past like several years, I literally stepped back. I stopped trying. I wasn't actively being like, oh, well I should do the thing and I should do the stuff. I just kind of was like, fuck it. Um, I let the moons pass, I would let some of the Wheel of the Year pass, and if I did do anything, it was very minor. Like, normally, Sabbaths, Wheel of the Year, biggest part of my practice. Everything revolves around it. And, like, for Yule, I pulled a card. That was it, for one year. And instead of, like, my more, like, my, my whole ritual of, like, the candle burning all night to symbolize the returning of the sun, to have a fire, to do all of these things, to cook and craft for the thing, I just did nothing. And now I'm, like, progressively, like, getting back to that point. And so, um, a lot of it was just, like, taking a step back and really the creme de la creme of change came from the quarantine, which I know is like taboo to say, but literally this quarantine has been my lifesaver. It has given me what I've needed for three years. I was able to not only just rest, but I am such an introvert that like not having to talk to people have so much limited interaction with humanity. It's been beautiful because I just, I'm so awkward and shy and just timid of humans. So like not having to have those awkward conversations while you're grabbing yourself your soy milk and you're like, oh, why do you drink soy milk? And you're like, oh my God, I don't wanna have this conversation right now. I just wanna get my food and go. You know, those conversations. You don't have those as much because they're like, <gasps> you could have the plague. And then they leave you alone and it's beautiful. And I didn't have to go to my corporate job, which meant I didn't have to bust my ass all day. Um, I didn't have to, you know, open do opening shift and not have a break and also not have food until like five o'clock at night because that was often a thing and you'd have really late lunches and five o'clock is not a lie it has happened um and some days you don't get a lunch period because of course and so and you get it interrupted all the time and you don't actually have breaks especially with the company I'm at but I'm leaving and I'm so excited. I just, I thought it would be a lot more fun than it was and it wasn't and like what I was promised when I was hired super didn't happen. From pay to hours, everything. So moral of the story, um, I got derailed and my brain just like checked out. Witchy funk. So having the month off that I have has been beautiful. I have been able to really rest and recover because if y'all don't know, I have what's called adenomyosis, which is basically your uterus wants to murder you. Basically. It's like endometriosis, but not. It's similar. They're very similar. And both of them just want to kill you. A lot. You, it's just murder inside of your body, just like this battleground fighting. You're just like, but why? And it hurts. And the only way you treat it is, like, the only cure is to just get it removed. Which would be lovely, but <laughs> we're in a pandemic. You don't do that when you have a bleeding disorder. And plus it's a very risky surgery for me anyways. Um, but, like, it just, it makes you bleed a lot. I mean, not just like, ooh, I had sex with my man and now I'm bleeding, which is a thing. But also... I walked too much today. I walked 5,000 steps and therefore that demanded bleeding and cramping to where you're laying in bed with an ice pack just like praying to all the things to make it stop. And you can't use heat. That is a bad, bad no-no because it expands your blood vessels, which makes you bleed more. 
For most people, you'd probably be fine. But again, bleeding disorder. So can't do that. So anyways, so I have been able to rest and recover and like really build up my strength because I've been, even though I've been bleeding basically nonstop for three years, I still worked the whole time. And I never really took time off. And it just is draining, not only mentally and emotionally and physically, it's just like enough is enough. <laughs> so to have a month off where you don't have the pressure to go do anything because you can't go do anything. Everything's closed, everything's shut their doors. Hi, precious. Da Puppers is here and she's adorable. Hello, Bobby. Hello. You're so precious. I'd show her to you, but my room's a mess. And then you'd judge me because I have my laundry basket, like just a little bit off camera and it's, it needs to be done. But she's so cute. Hi, precious. I love you. Anyways, so I took my time off and I just, I spent the first couple of weeks just focused on resting and healing my body. If I wanted to sleep at two in the afternoon and go to bed at 6 p.m., I did it. Didn't matter, whatever my body wanted, just taking it easy. And then doing that for a little bit, suddenly it was like, huh, I wanna start really working towards my things, like my YouTube channel, existence, making this a job. And I finally had the energy and the time to do it. So it was like kind of this timid like, okay. Also dog goes back and she's adorable and I love you. Hi. 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 You're so distracting. Yes, you are. This is so cute. Just, okay, fine. Fine. Don't mind my messy house. But look at the dog house. Isn't she precious? And she runs away. It's fine. Whatever. Um, but so I was able to start working on other endeavors. And then it got to where it was like, I could, I could start doing witchcraft again. We could do that. Like I have the energy, I have the time. I'm actually motivated for the first time in years. And so I started to, and I think it was just taking the time of not pushing myself to do it. But really, I think it was the quarantine, to be honest. It was the total break of no pressure to go do anything, just be home. I was able to like really reconnect with who I am. So anyways, that is it for this video. This is very rambly, but you got to see Doggo, so it was worth it. So anyways, love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And until tomorrow, thank you for watching and blessed be.